Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to sharpen blurry photo in Affinity Photo. Yeah, so uh, sometimes when you go outside for a photo shoot, everything looks good. The photo that you shoot, the lightning and the angle is perfect. But when you got home and check the photo again, you just realize that there's a slightly blur on the object. So don't worry about that because we can bring back the detail using the method that I'm going to show you today. But you have to keep in mind that if the photo has gotten blur like this, there's no way to fix it because we have lost all the texture and details in this photo. But if it's just slightly blur on the object, we can still bring back the detail. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. First, import a photo. So I'm going to use this photo as an example. I will put the link in the description so you can download it as well. Okay, you can do some adjustments. Okay, I will crop this photo. So first, duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J and then go to Filters, Sharpen, High Pass. This layer will become gray like this. Slowly slide the radius slider to the right until you see the details. Okay, so the photo is being sharpened. I think 8.2 is okay. Then click apply and change the blend mode to linear like. Okay, so as you can see the photo is sharpened. This is before and after. But when you zoom in, you will see that the noise is sharpened as well. So we want to reduce the noise. Okay, so go to filters noise and then denoise uh, slide the luminance and colors to about 20 you don't want to go further than that because the object will become blur again as you can see so just go around 20 and then click apply Okay, so just like I said before, if the photo is blurred like this, we cannot fix it anymore even though we apply the high pass because we have lost all the details and texture. Okay, so all is done. But I just want to apply the sharpen on this area. So I will mask this layer and press Ctrl I to invert and then use brush tool. Make sure you're using the soft brush and the foreground color is white. And then just pan over the area to sharpen. You want to sharpen like this. Okay, it's done. And there's another way to do this, but I think high pass is better. Yeah, so I just want to let you know about it. Okay, you can also do it in Devlo Persona. Go to details and then detail refinement. Slide the amount to 100 and slowly slide the radius. Okay, so as you can see, the object is being sharpened as well. Okay. But I uh, as I said before, I think high pass is better here. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video. Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.